And here we have it. Clock. Very something that surprised me though is if we just squeeze past it's not behind the clock face the uh, there was a uh, 90 degree bevel here type thing and then a shaft which goes into the roof it's actually got a window when you think about it this was made in 1809 and the only lighting they had was candles and oil lamps and so I suppose it was a practical thing to have a window opposite the clock so they could fix it um, the, the, uh, the, there's a wire that's wound around a drum which goes up into the roof let's go and follow where that goes shall we Right, to stay here, but you can see the. Let's get a torch. You can see the other end of the bevel, and there's the clock face. Just one going round, so the thing, the minutes and the hours are on those gears there. And then the wire is coming up here, right up to the roof. And it's going all the way down again, down there. See down that hole. <laughs> There's another stone there. That's for the um, the bell, for the chime. It's not being used. And we've got two church bells there as well. Quite big ones. They're not used either because the whole structure is getting a bit too old. And there is the spire, wooden spire, look, covered with lead huge oak beams must be really heavy makes you wonder how they got those up there let's go down and follow where that wire goes to so there's another door here tracks right and there's the pendulum Very simple mechanism, but there's the escapement. A few gears. The history of the clock was described in the Life of Times of Hingston, published by Virginia Walker for the Millennium. Thank you for watching this video.